I'm here with Adam Smith, head coach of the Cougar baseball team. Uh, today, a, an abbreviated uh, weekend of games, only three to talk about, but the Cougars did win all three, and they are in sole possession of first place in the conference as we talk today. And Adam, let's start with the Saturday sweep of Dominican out in Schaumburg. Uh, the first game of that doubleheader, 6-3 uh, final, but it was quite a nail-biter as the um, Dominican pitcher actually took a shutout into the seventh inning, uh, but it was, uh, it was great to see your, your guys uh, respond to the pressure and uh, get the bats going over those final three innings. Yeah, Saturday was, was crazy. Uh, uh, first, the wind was howling in all game. And, uh, you know, they were just beating us through seven. They, uh, they got a couple big hits when they needed to. And uh, every time we got guys on base, we hit it right at somebody or the wind got it. We crushed some balls. And, you know, outfields would just stand there, to be honest with you, because it was so windy outside. But uh, Dominican played, played very, very well uh, in the first game and, and earned that 3 nothing lead. And, you know, we chipped away in the seventh and chipped away in the eighth to tie it. And, uh you know, then we got it done in the ninth. I, we executed all our stuff late in that game, which really showed me something uh, about our team. We showed some guts, which, which is very good. Early in the year, we might not have shown that. You know, we lost some real close games, and we got down some in games and, and, and wouldn't play that well. And, and Saturday, we showed some guts and, and uh, really made a great comeback, coming back from the 3-0 you know, deficit in the seventh. So I was very proud of our guys, that's for sure, especially late in the game. All right, now let's talk about your pitching from game one. Uh, one of your freshmen, Adam Schmidt, got the start in that one. Uh, pitched a solid six innings, uh, even though the Cougars were trailing when he left the game. Uh, obviously, you had to be impressed, I think, with his effort. And then uh, Kurt Kempema pitching the final three innings, uh, getting the win eventually. Uh, it was nice to see Kurt back on the mound. Yeah, our pitching's really coming into form now. I think we're throwing the best we have all year. Uh, Coach Dusty's done a great job with the staff uh, after a slower start with these guys. But we're throwing more strikes now. Uh, we're competing more in the zone. We're not missing so, by so many, you know, by so much anymore. And uh, you know, Adam Schmidt has come on as much as anyone's come on this program in a long time. You know, he he uh, he wasn't on the Arizona roster. He was a, an afterthought, to be honest with you, early in the year, uh, pitching a lot of split squad JV games. And uh, he's turned himself into one heck of a pitcher. I thought he threw the ball very well against Dominican. I think he made one bad pitch, which was, which was a wild pitch uh, to make it 3 nothing. But other than that, Dominican hit a couple lines and stuff like that. And I just, I thought he threw fantastic. And, uh, and it, like you said, it's great to get Kirk back uh, off of injury. His arm feels real good uh, now, and he'll be a force for us down the stretch. But uh, he pitched really, really well uh, out of the pen in that game and, and earned the win. And uh, again, we're excited to have Kirk back. All right. And uh, just uh, in game two, just seeing how much um, emotion, momentum, and those kind of things play in, uh, in a baseball game. Uh, game two was just a uh, total shelling from the first inning, uh, the Cougars uh, getting a 16-4 win in that game. It's just like kind of uh, a return to, the, uh, return to the Cougars of old there, you might say. Yeah, I mean, I thought we played, you know, we, we did ride the momentum and, and played very well in game two. We hit we hit the ball very well. Uh, we pitched it pretty well. You know, Cody Cabrillo started, and, and he'd be the first one. He didn't have his good stuff, but he battled for us, got the big out when he needed to. Uh, our defense, I thought, played very well for the most part all day on Saturday. And, uh, and again, our bats are, are really coming on. Uh, I, I really think we're hitting the ball pretty darn well right now. I think we're getting three phases put together for the most part. I think that's why we've won eight in a row, and uh, you know, when, uh, I hope we're a dangerous team coming down the stretch here. Obviously, we want to win the league. We're, we're a half game up right now with the game to go with Aurora tomorrow, but uh, you know, I like the way we're playing. We're just going to keep working on, you know, we talked about yesterday after, after we won yesterday, keep improving every day, and uh, you know, we got to keep this one and going and try to win the league. All right. Um, then looking at Sunday, uh, the Cougars got just one of their two games in against Aurora. Uh, the second game will be uh, made up tomorrow, Tuesday, but uh, in the game that did get played, uh, Eric Palmer was your starter, and uh, the former Aurora Spartan uh, did pretty good against his old team. Uh, five solid innings, uh, just uh, one run allowed, uh, got the W, 
And uh, the other former Spartan on the team, uh, Carlos Oliveria, also, he had a, a good day at the plate. Yeah, Eric and, and uh, particularly Carlos, they played very well yesterday. I know they get a little fired up. You know, when they play Aurora, they got some friends over there still, but uh, they, they played pretty well. But uh, Palmer is getting better every start, which is huge for our team. Uh, he's got dominant stuff when he's, when he's pitching like the way Eric Palmer can. Uh, obviously, coming off the surgery, we, we've just been, you know, small little doses of him. He's getting close to right around 100 pitches now. And uh, down the stretch here, he's going to be as important as anyone we have in this club if he's throwing the ball well, because when he's throwing the ball well, there's not a lot of people in this country that can hit him. And then uh, Carlos, again, had a good day. You know, he's been huge out of three hole and uh, for most of the year here. And, uh, you know, if he continues to hit, he's just going to continue to help us uh, win a lot of games. All right. Um, this weekend, um, the Cougars with a couple more conference uh, doubleheaders coming up. Uh, Saturday here at home against Lakeland. And then Sunday against MSOE up in uh, Milwaukee at the uh, the Rock Sports Complex. Uh, just uh, talk about the uh, what to, what we can expect to see when the Cougars play these two teams. Well, it's going to be another tough weekend. Uh, obviously, you know if you look at the standings, you think, oh, you know it won't be a tough one. Well, you got another thing coming to be honest with you because Lakeland just beat Rockford, and Rockford. Uh, number one at a .46 going into the, into the game, and Lakeland dropped eight runs on them. So they're playing as good a ball as they've played all year. And then uh, MSOE, they just split uh, yesterday also. They're playing better. They're getting good pitching. They're in every game. They just happen to lose a lot of games. But uh, all in all, both teams are, are really playing better, so we, we need to play. We need to play very well if we're going to keep winning and uh, playing like we are. But uh, if anyone – we're going to talk about this week, the letdown stuff and all that stuff should not even be even talked about. You know, we talk about a lot. We're, we're just playing against ourselves. We, we're, we're, we're playing right now. We just we go out and compete and do the things we're able to do. Uh, we should be okay. But, uh, we, again, that, that letdown stuff and all here and all that stuff about playing teams that are on the bottom of the division, that means nothing to me. We just got to go out and play our style of ball and, and let the chips fall, and, and hopefully we're, we're playing good ball. All right. Adam, I'd uh, like to thank you for your time this afternoon. Uh, congratulations on a uh, great weekend, and uh, let's uh, – Let's hope the Cougars keep it rolling uh, this week. Thanks, Jim.